I'm not a Christian, but the Bible has some great stories. And it has the best story about this very thing, uh, which is the story of Moses and Exodus. So Moses is in reality, remember, a Egyptian prince. He is the adopted brother of the Pharaoh. Whether he existed or not is not important. The issue is how the story is constructed. So a leader of the old world uh, it creates a situation where he takes his people out of slavery. But the moment they've been out, it, but this is really his, his idea and not theirs. Because remember, within a short period of time, he goes up to have a quick chat with God. And they're all down there going, I think we've made a mistake. <laughs> Let's build an idol and, you know, get back to the good old days. A bit like in The Matrix, if you remember, the, the guy who says, I know it's a fake, but I'd like to have steak again, you know. So uh, we want, we, all we know is bondage. And so, so anyway, um, Moses comes down, breaks the tablets, and they are condemned to wander around lost until every single man and woman who was born a slave has died. And only those who have never known slavery can cross over to the promised land, including Moses himself. He dies on the other side of the river. He doesn't go to the promised land. I find this a story of great relevance today. I'm again. I'm 64. I'm, I'm the most. Insti I went to boarding school, aged eight, in England. I was like a man born in a suit. You know, I wore all sorts of crazy ties and hats and collars and uniforms. And and I'm the most. I come from the most traditional. My family are either bankers or soldiers all the way. Back. So I am the most traditional person. I think I understand the new quite well, but if you push me, you know, if you you put me under pressure, um, all my previous culture will you'll see it immediately. <laughs> and I th and I think we're all like that. We it, it's not you and me. See, my son has never had a job. My faith is in, he's not called Joshua, but, you know, my my faith is in, in it, it will take at least three generations. I, it'll be my grandchildren uh, who, who, will, who, who will do this. It's not going to happen in your or my, we're going to live through the 30 years war, I think. And, and there is no, I don't, I don't think, well, is there going to be some leader come up? I think that what you'll see, though, is you will see people going, uh, coming together about, I'm going to help you, you're going to help me learn how to grow food better locally. You know, how do we have chickens in Paris? You know, or, yeah, you, know, you just see what I mean? That kind, and someone might lead, lead that project, 